welcome and a welcome back to my channel. My name is Nate Penda and I'm so excited to have you here. In case you're new, I do beauty content, plus size fashion, as well as lifestyle content. So if any of that interests you, make sure you go ahead and subscribe and stay tuned because I promise you'll love it here. In today's video, I'm giving you all of my recommendations and suggestions for fall scents. Now let me first start off by saying I'm not a per perfume mista. I'm not a scent snob. I am not a perfume expert. I'm just someone who has recently, within the last year, fallen in love with fragrance. I have been influenced by the influencers, probably like most of you. But the difference is, I'm spending my coin on these. I need to smell them. They need to smell good. So I'm a little bit more picky about what I actually like and what I keep in my collection. My collection is a, is a little extensive compared to the average, but... I feel like everything I have are scents that I love. So I wanted to share with y'all what I'll be smelling like this fall, this winter. Um, and I'll give you different options as far as price points, as well as just like fragrance families. Now, being that I'm not a perfumista, I'm not going to be able to explain like the scents and the notes and the bottom notes and all of those things. So if that's what you're looking for, click out right now. Because that's not what it's giving. Click out right now. You will be disappointed. Don't leave a thumbs down on your way out. Just go. Okay, just go. Because that's not this. This is, you want to smell good, you want options, you want to know what the vibe is giving, and you'll look at the scents on the screen, okay? Without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into the video. So these are going to be in no particular order. I'm just going to share the ones that I love, and I'm going to be spraying them as I say them just so that I can be reminded of the scents. So the first one that I'm going to share with you is the Fenty Beauty Eau de Parfum, y'all. This scent, this scent is indescribable. This scent reminds me of shea butter. Think of someone with locks walking down the street in Harlem, in New York City, if you're from New York City. But just imagine someone walking down the streets with their faux locks, shea butter. They have body oil on, so they're glistening and they're golden. Like, that is what this smells like. It smells like black beauty. It smells like black love. Like... I'm keeping it a buck with you guys. This scent is so sensual to me. It does have blackberries in it or blueberries. I believe it's like an underbase in it. And you can smell that when you actually smell it. But this to me is a must have in your collection. It is so good. I know that they're going to be restocking it. So when it comes back, I genuinely think that you should get this. Because honestly, if this is where Rihanna smell like, I believe it. Because it's, it's giving black girl luxury. It's giving... It's, gi it's giving. It's giving. The next scent is going to be the YSL Libre Intense. This was one of my purchases that I picked up in my last perfume haul video. I will go ahead and link it here for you guys in case you are interested in seeing my first impressions. This to me is, if you are someone who likes sweet and floral scents, you'll really love this because while it is warm, it is still sweet and it does still have an undertone of sweet. I figured I'd be a little bit more professional and read out the undertone. So the keynotes are Lavender Essence, Orange Blossom, and Orange or an Orchid Accord. And the fragrance family is floral, specifically warm florals. And that honestly is what it is. I feel like the Orange Blossom is what really stands out the most. This to me reminds me of a date night. It reminds me of a smell of like when you hug someone and they walk away and you still smell this, you're like, like it just feels so good. Like it feels so good to smell. This is definitely a date night scent. This is something that you really want to dress up. Um, You could also wear it in the day. And I typically, to be honest, like to pair this with my next recommendation, which is going to be the Mason Margiela replica by The Fireside. Y'all, this right here. Sorry, I said by the fireside, but this is actually by the fireplace. This right here, I, I know that it says that it smells like burning wood and chestnut, but honestly, this reminds me of like coffee. Um, and when I have gone out, sometimes I have mixed these two together. Chef's kiss. Chef's kiss when I mix these two together. They just remind me of like being in a cabin in the woods and like having a hot cup of cocoa with some s'mores, halal virgin marshmallows, just like enjoying life, chopping life and not letting life chop me. Like that is what both of these fragrances give me. Now this one is definitely more warm. It's described as a warm and spicy scent. 
It has clove oil, chestnut accord, and vanilla accord, and it's described as a warm and sweet gourmand. And I feel like what makes this really stand out is definitely gonna be that vanilla accord. Not me talking like I know what I'm talking about, but I smell the vanilla in this. And so these two are amazing. If you someone, if you're someone that really, really wants something way more sweet and you're not a fan of like more unisex scents or more masculine scents, go with the YSL Libre over the fireplace. But if you have both of these, try them mixed together and let me know what you think. The next fragrance is also by YSL and it is the YSL Black Opium. Now, what I will say about this is that this is my second or my third bottle of this. This was actually one of the first perfumes that I tried when I was first getting into fragrance years and years and years ago. And honestly, this is a scent that I feel like it's feminine, but it also has like a masculine undertone to it. Like I definitely don't think that most men who are into very manly fragrances would enjoy this but if you're someone that airs on the side of your woman but you sometimes like more masculine scents you will really like this it is described as being warm and spicy a warm and sweet gourmand black coffee white flowers and vanilla and i feel like what i smell the most i feel like with this you definitely smell the coffee but it's almost like a sweet coffee this is something that i would definitely wear during the date for like a daytime date this is something that I would wear to go, mm, I don't know if I would wear this to the office. Actually, yes. This is something that I feel like I would still wear to the office if I was working in person because it's strong, but it's not overpowering to the point where it's like overwhelming. Very sophisticated, very much giving. I got my life together. Love this scent. The next perfume is the Carolina Herrera Good Girl Perfume and it looks like this. It is in the shape of a heel. Now, I like this because like I said in my perfume haul before if anybody get crazy just like you know for your safety women out here we be going through it like we be going through it and i feel like this if you have it just for like touch-ups during the day it serves two purposes like it gives you perfume smell good but it also gives you don't play with me um but this scent to me the first time i smelled it and honestly every time that i spray it it truly just reminds me of sensuality it reminds me of like seduction right not that i'm seducing anybody in case my mother is watching it but i'm saying if you wanted to seduce someone this is definitely the scent that you would want to wear it is a warm floral and it has tuberose jasmine and tonka bean i don't know what tuberose smell like but it smells good in this perfume the jasmine definitely stands out so it's something that is warm but it's also still sweet and it has that sensual undertone i feel like it's just something that you want to wear to like let someone know I've arrived. I'm here. I'm here. Like it just gives, I'm here. Definitely date night. I feel like I said date night for a lot of them, but honestly, whenever I think of warm florals, I definitely do think of nighttime. I think of fall. I think of winter. I think of date nights. I think of cabins, chalets. I think of walks outside in the dark. Like that's what I think of when I think of warm florals because I'm typically a sweet person like a sweet scent person so any type of warm floral is definitely going to be a nighttime type of thing for me but this one specifically i feel like just reminds me of sensuality it's subtle but still strong it's sweet but still warm it's the perfect balanced perfume the next recommendation that i have is the Ness Seville Orange, but this is a perfume oil. Now, if you live in New York City, then you know that there's a place called 125th Street, okay, in Harlem. I was born and raised in Harlem, and there are a lot of Africans and Caribbeans who sell perfume oils, and the perfume oils typically come in the stick. You rub it onto your hand, you rub it onto your skin, and it lasts so much longer. So I really, really enjoy this for layering scents because you can use this as a base undertone on your skin specifically and then layer a different perfume on top the one that i've been seeing a lot of people recommend more recently is the madagascar vanilla and i haven't smelled that one yet but this one is just very very citrusy it's very citrusy and i feel like on its own i wouldn't enjoy it but i've paired this with by the fireplace as well as i've paired this with ysl libre and honestly, as a, a as a base starter, it just smells so 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 good. I definitely want to get the want to get the Madagascar vanilla one, but still 10 out of 10 and recommend this one. It's very citrus, very sweet. Let me go ahead and grab the undertone in the notes for you guys. Um, and it is described as a 
fresh citrus and fruit scent. It has orange zest, pink grapefruit, and the rose blossom. Um, so definitely daytime pairing it with a heavier fragrance or a more warm floral fragrance fragrance will give you a balance, especially if you're someone that really prefers more sweet scents. The next one, Broke the Internet, period. Um, Kara Amonique is the one who recommended this, and I purchased this from her recommendation, and it is the Ebony Wood Perfume. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. The very first time that I smelled this, I hated it. Like, I genuinely hated it the first time that I smelled it because it's more of like a manly perfume. In my opinion, it's more masculine, and I just wasn't a fan, but the more that I smelled it, the more I was like, Oh, this is grown women. This is to be layered. You can even wear this on its own, but I found that I liked this more as a base scent that I would then layer on top with other perfumes. That's when I feel like it really, really, really shines. Um, but I did watch a video recently where she did say that she likes more masculine scents, so that made sense to me because that's what they get. That's what this gives. It gives that it could be masculine, it could be feminine, anyone could wear it. But I feel like the star with this is how you layer it. When you layer it on top of other perfumes, it just makes you smell so good because this by itself is so strong. I'm actually shocked that a Zara perfume is this strong because if I'm being completely honest, I've never tried Zara perfumes before this one. So it just, it did what it needed to do. And also I would say that this has, it's almost like an addicting scent because even in me just smelling it, I almost got lost in a trance. So it definitely does take you somewhere. It, it, it's almost like an addicting scent. It just makes you want to smell more of it. It makes you want to live in the experience of the scent even more. So I really like this. The next two scents are new purchases from the Sephora VIB sale. If you didn't, definitely go ahead and check out my video where I did a haul of what I purchased. The first one, I'm here already taking off the top. The first one is Perfect Marc Jacobs Intense or Marc Jacob Intense, y'all. When I smelled this perfume, I almost passed out before. I was being so dramatic. The perfume lady was like, are you okay? And I was like, no, Miss Ma'am. Like, where did this come from? I did not know Marc Jacobs was making perfumes like this. Y'all, let me, let me tell you what it smells like. Let me get a, a little whiff so I can be reminded of the beauty of this perfume. So, Marc Jacobs Eau de Parfum and Intense is described as a warm floral. It has daffodil, night blooming jasmine, and sandalwood. And y'all, I think it's the sandalwood that does it for me. If you guys have ever tried the Necessaire body washes, sandalwood is one of my favorite scents as well as the bergamot. I really, really just like them. They smell very like warm, a little masculine, but this, it just... This is something that I feel like you can wear more so during the day if you are running your errands, if you're going shopping, if you're going to have a brunch with the girls, if you are going to meet people for the first time and you want to smell sweet, you want to smell warm still since it's fall or winter, but you want to make an impression, definitely recommend that. And then the last perfume is also a new purchase from Sephora. It's from K. Ali and it is in the scent Deja Vu. I'm going to tell you right now, Kayali is about to get all of my coins. That's all I'm going to say. Kayali is about to get all of my coins. If their scents smell like this, they're about to get all of my coins. This, one thing I would say is that Kayali perfumes, they remind me of, they remind me of Dubai. And I say they remind me of Dubai because Growing up, my mother used to always get these perfumes from Dubai, and when she would bring them, they would be like in a little spray bottle. She would spray them all over her African clothes and like her African print outfits, and they would be so, so, so strong. Like you can smell them from a block away. That's how strong they are, and I feel like Kayali, because Huda and her team are based in Dubai, they use those scents that the locals use, that the Muslim and the Arabs use, and they put it in this beautiful packaging. And made it mainstream and made it mainstream it's just like how you know shea butter such as brands like 54 thrones musu beauty um golden roots essentials all of these brands that take what is from africa as far as shea butter in its raw form and they put it in beautiful packaging they make it more mainstream easier to use easier to manage and just like 
make it more accessible for people. I feel like that's what Kayali did with this because this reminds me of my mother and it smells so good. If you are someone that is from the Caribbean, if you're someone that's African, this is the perfume that you spray when you go into a baby shower, to a wedding, and you want to make an entrance with your clothes and with your scent. With your clothes and with your scent. Um, but Deja Vu is described as a captivating duo blend with richness and provocative accords. Girl, what is y'all talking about? Listen, they don't got the same description on the website. I'm going to try and see if I can find it on um, Lee specific website, but it's not on Sephora's website. And what they were just writing or what I just read has nothing to do with this. I think they're talking about a combination of two scents. But honestly, it has a feminine and masculine scent. So I think that this is something that could be unisex. Definitely leaning more towards a feminine scent, but still... There's an undertone of a masculine scent. It reminds me of something I've smelled before. And again, it's because my mom has used Arabian and scents from Dubai for years. So it sounds, it feels so familiar to me when I smell it. But just get it. Just get it. It's giving me a vent. Like a vent event. This is not giving me just a regular, regular every day. This is giving a vent. I'm making a statement. And the statement is that I'm that girl. Period. It smells so good. The last one is one that y'all probably would never think is like a fall scent, but I'm sorry. This is my everyday scent. Fall, winter, spring, summer. If I'm alive, if I'm breathing, I will most likely want to wear this scent, and that is why it is almost halfway gone. This is the Tom Ford Eau de Soleil Blanc. This is just a fresh scent that everyone should have in their collection. So I feel like in every perfume video, whether it is a haul, a fall and winter scent, a spring scent, I'm going to tell y'all to get that perfume. I think that that is the perfect perfume to start your collection with. It smells fresh. It's every day. You can wear it to run errands. You can wear it to go to brunch. You can wear it to go to see your friends. Like, you can wear it for anything. It is light but still strong. And I have gotten compliments every single time I have worn that perfume to the point where I actually need to stop spraying it so much and try my other perfumes. All right, you guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I know that this is different from typical perfume videos, especially by like the experts, but I'm just telling y'all what these scents remind me of, where I think they'll be good to wear, how they make me feel, how I would describe them. And I hope that you guys enjoy that and that it's something different than what you're used to in a good way. Let me know in the comment section down below if you have any of these scents or if you're interested in trying them. Let me know if there's one that you absolutely are not getting along with. Um, one thing I will say about scents is that they can smell good when you spray them on like the perfume sticks to smell it but maybe not necessarily mesh with your body chemistry it can also smell really good on one person but not necessarily smell good on you so I always recommend that when you are getting a perfume try it for a few days to see how you like it how you like it on yourself before you make a judgment about whether or not you want to keep it or whether or not you enjoy it um again leave a comment down below go ahead and subscribe I love you guys so much and I can't wait to see you next time bye guys